subscribe match four preview what have we got for you we've got uh, uh, what are the strengths what are the weaknesses of both teams the probable playing 11 and the venue so let's get into it straight away guys the arun jaitley stadium always a good side and i'm going to watch the india afghanistan match there so it will be a cracking experience for me as well okay so al arun jaitley stadium um spin it to win it has been the call 28 matches played 13 one batting first 14-1 chasing, average first inning score is 223, average second inning score is 203. So it will be a low scoring affair. However, I would like to state that the ICC has told about the 70, 70 meter boundary rule and told to keep the keep the blade and the grass on the pitch so that the batters are having a good time. And I am saying it, uh, spin it to win it because in, in December 2009, the play was abandoned due to the pitch in an india Sri Lanka match. And this stadium has also seen some demerit points. Over the years, it has really improved in the IPL. We have seen scores above 200 and now it's a batting paradise. So hopefully it remains the same. And uh, let's see what both teams have in store for us. Um, South, uh, South Africa are the ones first up. And uh, they're playing one game in Delhi as well. So that's a quick adjustment for the Proteus. Um, I would, I would say the ground is for the batters of South Africa, but I don't know how their bowlers are going to go because this pitch might just dry up in the heat. And Delhi is still pretty hot at this time of the year. Will the dew kick in? We'll have to see. And uh, if it uh, if it's slightly dew, uh, dew will kick in, then South Africa would like to chase. So that's South Africa for you. But according to the playing 11, on on the screen, my 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 concern is how will the pace attack of the South Africans go? Uh, because I have included Kagiso Rabada, Marpe, Anson Lungi, and Gidi in the squad. Three pacers, two spinners are necessary on Delhi because they will be turned with Aiden Makram, so their bowling is covered. Uh, Temba Bahuma, very underrated. Quinton de Kock, Rassi, Dusen. Aiden Makram, Heinrich Kras, and David Miller. These are the batsmen. They look a well-rounded squad. For any condition, they can include Gerald Quizza if the pace is there. Uh, spinning options are limited, but hopefully they'll stay away from injuries. Heinrich Klaassen can even roll his arm over. So, South Africa, out of 10, the team that they're going to pick according to the conditions, I'll give it 8.5. But if we go to Sri Lanka, they're going to start off two games in Delhi they have versus Bangladesh on the 6th, but the focus is on this game, the... 2 o'clock start against South Africa and uh, uh, it's the mantra that Sri Lanka have used in their home conditions. Spin to win for Sri Lanka and I am predicting that these conditions will help Sri Lanka because they've got the variety. I'll start off with the ball. Shanaka, the captain, medium pacer can take the pace off the ball which will be key. Dunit Villalage, Mahit Pikshana, Dishan Madhushanka and Matisha Padirana. The doubt is over Matisha Patirana, to be fair, because if you see, he he's, can be injury prone, so he's not going to play all games. But I would like him to play uh, the first match to set the tone, to get a feel of the World Cup. This is his first World Cup. Batting looks solid. Kusal Mendes got a 158, but others need to chip in. They collapsed. They lost. 8 for 30 something against Afghanistan in the warm up matches and they got all out for 50. So, batting collapse, which is something Sri Lanka need to avoid, and uh, this is something they will be looking forward to. Players to watch out for uh, South Africa in these conditions, I will say Henrik Klassen because Sri Lanka will come, come at uh, uh, come at uh, Klassen and South Africa with spin, and he's one of the best players of spin going around. Uh, Sri Lanka, I'll say Tikshana because he's going to bowl to the likes of Quinny de Kock and uh, Tamba with the new ball. And that is going to be the battle, I think, that will decide the fate of the match. And uh, my prediction, and I think yours as well, I am predicting Sri Lanka to win, actually, with going with the underdogs for the match because of the ground. And I would like to, I would really like to know your prediction. What do you think uh, is going to be the result of the match? Um, uh, do let us know and we'll be back after the match with you. Until then, take care and uh, do like, share and subscribe. Until then, goodbye.